welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.4 and problem number 2.53. Determine the axial forces S1 and S2 induced in the bars AC and BC in figure due to action of the horizontal applied at C. The bars are hinged together at C and to the foundation at A and B. There are two bars AC and BC. At C, there is a force of 4450. A and B are fixed here. Some distances are given, some distances are given. Our interest is to find the forces in the bars AC and CB. So if you consider the various forces that are acting at C, there are three forces. One force is the force along CA, that is S1. Next force, force along CB, that is S2. And let this angle is theta and let this angle is alpha. Now, you can find the value of tan theta since the, all these dimensions are given. You can find tan theta is equal to 915 by 762. From that, you can find theta is equal to 50.61. Similarly, you can also find the value of alpha, that is tan alpha is equal to 610 by 762, which gives the value of 38.68. Now, let us transfer all these three forces onto separate xy plane for easy analysis. The first force I am transferring that is 4450 newtons. Next one is S1. I am just transferring onto the xy plane and S2 onto the separate xy plane. And you know that S1 makes an angle theta with the vertical and S2 makes an angle alpha with the vertical. Hence, this angle is theta which is known as 50.21 and this angle is alpha and you know that value as 38.68. Now, let us resolve all the forces along x-axis and y-axis. So, first force 4450, you need not to resolve because this is acting along x-axis. Next force, S2 makes an angle alpha with the vertical, hence vertical component is cos alpha. So, it is S2 cos alpha and this is S2 sin alpha. Similarly, S1, so the horizontal component is like this, vertical component is like this. And the vertical component is cos because S1 makes an angle theta with the vertical. So you can say it is S1 cos theta and this is S1 sin theta. Let us apply equilibrium condition sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are two forces. Both the force acts in the downward direction. So you can write S2 cos alpha plus S1 cos theta is equal to 0. And you can substitute these values here. So, S2 cos 38.68 is equal to minus S1 cos 50.21 and upon simplification you will get S2 is equal to minus 0.82 into S1. Let us take sigma Fx is equal to 0. There are three forces. So, two forces act towards right side and one force acts towards left side. So, you can write 4450 plus S2 sin alpha is equal to S1 sin theta. You know the values of alpha and theta and you know that S2 is equal to minus 0.82 S1. You can substitute all these three into this equation. Then you will get 4450 minus 0.82 S1 sin 38.68 is equal to S1 into 50.21. You can simplify. This is only one equation and there is only one unknown that is S1. So upon simplification, you will get S1 is equal to 3476.56 newtons and you just substitute s1 here then you can calculate s2 that is minus you are getting why i am getting minus initially i am assuming that s2 is a tensile that's why the forces are away from the point but here i get a negative that means the force s2 is not tensile the force s2 is compressive so s2 is equal to 2850.8 newtons and that is compressive. So, S1 and S2, these two are the answers for the given problem. 